Hello Internet, welcome back to our tutorial series. I just want to make a quick addendum video to our last video, which was about the crafting system. And I wanted to show you the item browser. If you are searching for an item, and you're not really sure uh, what book the recipe is in, or maybe you're looking for something and you, you don't have recipes access to, you, you don't have access to certain recipes, but you want to see all clothing recipes, you could come to the item browser click clothing and it will show you uh, all items that fit into these particular categories. And there's a lot of functionality here. You can search melee weapons, range weapons, etc. You can also use the search function to search for a specific item. This is really handy when you're looking for something that you know exists, but you don't currently have the recipe for. Um, and additionally, like I said, this contains recipes, for, uh, it contains everything for the game. So if we go to melee weapons, let me show you a specific item. We go to uh, the Mer uh, pick something a little bit more straightforward. We pick uh, the katana. Okay, this opens up the entry for the katana that we would see in the game. You'll see its uh, list of volume and the weapon damage and all that good stuff, as well as the description. And what you're looking for is the craft tab. So we'll click craft, and it will show us what is required to craft this item. You'll see it requires Fab Nine takes uh, many hours to complete. It takes certain tool requirements. And then here at the bottom is the most important bit. It says that this can be found in the following books when your fabrication is at least the required level. It is the Swords of the Samurai book contains this recipe. And in order to get access to this recipe, it will require level eight fabrication. Sometimes people raise questions on Discord or in the forum and say, hey, um, a recipe listed in a book is brown. I don't understand. It's not in my crafting menu. What that means is that you have not met the skill requirements to read that and learn that recipe. Some books have recipes that require a different skill than the book is listed as. So for instance, Swords of the Samurai, this book raises fabrication, so it makes sense that it requires level eight fab. However, some books like, let's say the... Um, I think the do-it-yourself mastery book, the DIY compendium or whatever it's called, raises fabrication, but some of the recipes in that require a certain level of mechanics in order to get access to the recipe. So even though that book might say, takes you to level five, you would think, oh, well, that means I can learn every recipe in it. No, sometimes that requires you to learn a different skill. And so searching for that recipe in the item browser can let you know that. If we click recipes, it will tell us uh, what this goes into. So the katana is required to craft the rising sun or the naginata. Um, both are, yeah, that's that's an, another handy thing. And additionally, it will tell you what you will get if you disassemble the katana. And specifically, it references that this item cannot be disassembled. So if you're ever looking for a specific material, you can search for that material uh, or you can search for something that you think could be disassembled for it and then find that here. Additionally, it lists if that is required uh, for construction reasons. This is a little bit um, confusing. I don't know what this has to do with a katana, but here it is listed. Also, there is a link for the wiki. I would recommend not using the wiki. The wiki is very outdated in a lot of ways. Um, people come all the time and say, hey, this thing on the wiki says this, and we're like, no, that's really wrong. That's from, you know, two years ago no one has updated it you can't use that as a as a possibility now the other benefit of the item browser is that you can search if you're on the old stable or if you're currently on the uh like if the last stable version is actually 0 0.d at this point it has not been updated to have a 0 0.d stable but we can click the experimental and it will show us the current experimental i am unsure of how much this will be updated for 0 0.e but the experimental, I believe it always pulls directly from the game files on the current installation. So this gets updated automatically as things change in the game. So I wanted to give a shout out to the item browser. It is very handy for recipe based stuff when you're trying to craft things. I will link this in the description down below. Additionally, I will try to remember to link that in our, our, our crafting menu tutorial video as well. For now, that's going to do it. Just wanted to make a quick video about this. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.